This pains me greatly to do this. However, can you really put a price in education? Of course not. All right, so I'm gonna puncture this tire, simulating a thorn puncture, a nail. All right, there we have it, right? There's our hole, right? Okay. So, while that air is leaking out, let's say make sure we find this hole, you know, you, of course you can use the soap. Here we can see, that's a pretty big hole, but if you have a little hole like that, you'll see those bubbles coming out. That's the purpose of the soap. So, make a mental note of where that's at. If you have a little piece of chalk or anything to, to mark that, it's helpful because those are easy to, to lose once you identify them. All right, so we're gonna take our our repair strips here. These things are commonly found. You can buy them at Napa. You're gonna pay three prices for them. Uh, it's better to, you know what I'll do is I'll just throw this little, I'll find this little kit to get uh, on Amazon here and I'll put it in the link description um, and then you can just order it. I'll find it, it'll be a fraction of the price in Napa. Okay, this stuff's cool. This stuff's, it's really gooey. Super gooey, it's kind of a, yeah, you know, it kind of sticks to you. Good stuff. Um, a little tire like that, we could use half of this if we wanted to. I just, just use the whole strip, right? Okay, so this tool right here, the threader, you can see there it's got a groove cut in it and it's open at the end. And so what you do is you kind of smash this, this goo here and you thread it through there, right? You thread that through there, pull it through halfway like this. Again, of course, you can do this in the field, right? Easy. All right, we'll bend this back. Now we'll identify our hole. Right there, I can see it. And we're, we're gonna go, oh, I forgot one thing. So your reamer, this is the reamer here. Let's say after you pull the nail out, right? You ream this out really good and you actually increase the hole, increase the size of it a little bit. That's okay, it's not gonna hurt anything. Just go ahead and run that through there a few times because you need a, a hole big enough to, to get that, uh, this goo in there. Now you push this in there in a kind of a twisting motion like that, right there. You don't go all the way through, just like that, just a little bit, just about halfway or so. Pull this out and that's the reason why that's open on that tip right there, you see, because it just comes, slips right out there. And, and now you're patched. Your patch there. Now we'll take and we'll cut this off right here. We don't need that hanging out there and it runs the risk of pulling everything off. Just take your knife and I just, I just cut it flush to the threads. That'll last a long time. Now they'll tell you at the tire store and it's probably true that you can't repair a sidewall, right? You've all been there and they say they, you have to buy a new tire. It's probably a good idea for a highway car, but if you need to get back in the middle of nowhere, you can patch the sidewall. I'd probably recommend you think about replacing that tire, but you can certainly replace it. You can certainly get you back on the road again. So if we pump this back up. Then we'll look around here and we can check it by some putting some soap on there, right? And making sure that's not leaking. You know, it might leak a little bit, but as soon as you roll that tire around, put some weight on it, that stuff will mash in there and it'll seal. Yep, I think that looks good. Looks really good. Still getting a little bit of air out of it, but it'll, it'll, sort, itself, it'll sort itself out. Once that warms up and, and gets going in there, it'll be just fine. Good job, Black Hawk 5.